Dear students, let me at the very outset welcome all of you who have registered for this course on Knowledge Society. I wish you a meaningful learning experience. My name is K. S. Raghavan and I have worked for the University of Madras and the Indian Statistical Institute. Presently, I am associated with the Center for Knowledge Analytics and Ontological Engineering of the PES Institute of Technology, Bangalore. The subject of knowledge society can be looked at from different perspectives and angles. There are multiple dimensions to it, sociological, economic, political, legal, ethical, and technological dimensions. As this course is intended for students of library and information science, we take a broad overview of the subject. In other words, on completing this course, you should have a general understanding of the various dimensions of knowledge society, the related issues that are being discussed, addressed, and implications for library and information services. There are some components of the course, especially those related to intellectual property issues and social media that will be of practical value to LIS professionals working in libraries and information centers. There are lessons for you to learn, tailor them to suit your needs and requirements and implement in your own institutions to enhance quality of services to your customers. Of course, there will be greater focus on the situation obtaining in India, which is as it should be. Let me say a few things about the course and its contents. As a subject of study, knowledge society is indeed a very vast area. It is also a concept about which there is a certain degree of ambiguity given that the notions of knowledge and information are abstract. In planning the modules, therefore, we have gone to a certain extent by the course contents of library and information science programs in several universities and the UGC model curriculum. The modules begin by examining the notions of data, information, and knowledge as technical terms, followed by a module on theories and models of communication and information transfer. An understanding of some of these basic concepts and ideas is essential and serve as a background for understanding the other modules in this course. We then introduce the concept of knowledge society. The remaining modules discuss the issues, impact and implications of knowledge society. For example, the legal aspects such as copyright and other intellectual property rights related issues, the digital divide, the social media, etc. We also take a look at the changing dimensions of information studies as a discipline consequent to the growing recognition of knowledge and information as economic factors of development. Before I conclude this brief introduction to the course, I would like all of you to remember that many of the facets are continuously undergoing changes. For example, issues related to intellectual property rights are the subject of international debate and multilateral negotiations among governments of different countries and keep changing over time as new agreements are negotiated. Similarly, aspects involving use of technology also change as new technologies emerge. An effort has been made in many modules to provide you with information about relevant websites and agencies. It is important for you to visit those websites for updates.